Today we're going to be trying out a bunch of different new makeup and talk about where my channel is headed. Your girl really loves to do more current events, hot topic, controversial videos. That's what I started doing when I launched my channel originally. So I had kind of veered away from that at the beginning of this year because I just needed to protect my peace. I needed to protect my space. Right now, I'm finding that I'm very passionate about a lot of different topics. You know, while I do love making makeup content, my spirit is calling me to talk about more controversial of the time topics. I also don't want to alienate anybody that doesn't really want to know about or talk about certain issues. What I plan on doing, my videos will be clearly labeled. If you don't want to know me on a controversial topic level, you don't have to click those videos. You can just stick with the makeup content, the get readies with me, the reviews, the ipsy, glam bag, whatever, you know, those type of videos, because I'm going to still do those, okay? I'm definitely going to still do those because I love makeup. It's so much fun. I love skincare. You know, I enjoy trying different brands out and doing these type of videos as well, but I also need to tap into what my spirit is drawing me towards. For instance, talking about the upcoming election. I've been having some very heated debates. It's calling me, I feel like I have so much to say when it comes to the election, as well as other things, not just the election. You know, right now I'm not really giving myself an outlet to release and just speak my truth and just go in like I used to, okay? So I am gonna start doing more of the content that I used to do, but I'm also gonna continue to do the skincare, makeup, unboxing type of content as well. So if you don't want to tap in with me when it comes to, you know, politics or, you know, societal issues, by all means, ignore those videos and only come to the ones that are unboxings, makeup, or if you, you know, watch one of my controversial videos and you're like, I don't like this bitch no more. By all means, stop watching. <laughs> you are a free human being. You can do whatever the hell you want to. I just know what my spirit is calling me to do. And it's calling for me to discuss more timely issues, more controversial issues, things that have been really grinding my gears <laughs> and just having an outlet for it. And maybe you agree, maybe you disagree. I'm always open to conversation, okay? As long as it don't get disrespectful, I'm always open to conversation. So with that being said, let's just get into the makeup. Um, Right now I'm putting, well, I already put it on. The LYS Triple Fix uh, Full Coverage Brightening Concealer. There's always so many words with these products. I'm just like, it's like reading off a whole script before you get to what it actually is. This is the LYS concealer, okay? That's what it is. I'm using a powder foundation today and I've never really used a powder foundation like that. So if it looks clapped, it's because I don't know what I'm doing. I'm used to a liquid foundation, serum, balm. I usually don't dabble into the powder foundations, but we're gonna try it today and see if we like her. Okay, we're uh, concealed. <laughs> we're concealed, my face looks crazy. Uh, hopefully the foundation and everything will fix it because this look crazy. I think this is like a style called underpainting, which I feel like I've done it before. I feel like I've done it like a long time ago, like when I was in China, I don't know. For the actual foundation, I'm gonna be using the Luna Magic Soft Perfection, and this is in the color medium. And this is just like a little, little sample size. I guess I'm gonna use this brush. I don't know if this is like the correct brush to use. How do you know if you put on too much? I feel like I just keep putting on more and more and I don't know what I'm looking for. Like I have no idea what this is supposed to look like. All right, for the sake of not putting this entire tiny little compact on my face, I'm gonna just put it down and just hope that it all comes together once I put on like my contour, bronzer, blush, all that stuff and then spray it down. We'll see. Cause right now I just, I don't know. I don't know if this is how it's supposed to look. The contour that I'm gonna be using is also a powder, that's why I didn't put it on underneath. And this is the Palace Identity in Warm Gold. We just got this and it is so freaking beautiful. Look at that. Packaging is so fun. It reminds me of my time when I was in China because um, all of the makeup and stuff like that looks like this. Not all of it, obviously, but a lot of it did look like this. Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and try to use this P. Louise brush that I got. I haven't used it, so we'll see. Hopefully this design isn't like completely ruined after this. Yeah. 
This probably isn't even the right brush for something like this. Well, I mean, it's doing something. I see that chiseled look. I need a smaller brush for my nose. Yeah, I think it I think it did what it was supposed to do. We'll see. I guess for my nose, I'm gonna use this eyeshadow brush because it's small enough to really get in there. Yeah, I feel like, oof, powder just went straight into my eyeball. I feel like when it comes to products like this, I think I much prefer a cream. Like, do I look a little different? I can't tell. We're learning here. We're learning, we're trying, we're not judging, okay? At least I'm not, you might be. I'm just gonna move on. Cause I don't know, like I, I just don't know. This is so new, this is new territory for you girls. So I feel uncomfortable for like literally everything else, like the bronzer, blush, highlight. I'm gonna go into this all over the place uh, face palette by P. Louise. These are the shades. Definitely gonna dip into this for my bronzer. This one for my blush and then highlight. I really need to wash my brushes. If I tell you the last time I've washed these brushes, you, you would definitely judge me. I hate hand washing things. I like things that I could just throw in the washing machine. So I need to get one of those little, little cup things that just, it automatically cleans it for you and then you just hang it up to dry. But I, I'll probably get that off a of flip. When I find one that I like, I'll probably get it off a of flip and show y'all. And try not to go overboard like I always do. I always go so crazy with the bronzer and then I end up looking like I got beat up and then drugged through the mud. I think that's as good as that's gonna get. That is going to be the theme for today is this is as good as it's gonna get. Love this brush, by the way. That's so pretty. I think I wanted just a little bit darker, just a little bit. Okay, borderline jigsaw. That's what we're going for, borderline. All right, we are done with blush. For highlighter, I'm gonna use my little wing me that is supposed to be for all over the eye, but who doing that? Who putting this right on their eyeball? Not me. Try not to do too much. Put this on the nose. I'm just gonna kind of blend that in. Pretty, at least I think it is. I don't know when I put my glasses on and I edit this video if it's pretty or pretty jacked. Eyebrows are so boring, so I'll probably just speed through this. I'm just gonna use my LA colors that I got from the Dollar Tree, okay? We are not brand snobs over here, okay? If it fits, it ships. And this eyebrow pencil ships, so it fit. <laughs> Big old pregnant belly is just pushing everything around. I get so much anxiety doing my eyebrows, especially when they're not done. Like, I need a professional to come and put these eyebrows in check because they are straight up disrespectful. To be honest, I miss when I had my eyebrows like micro shaded. I had got them micro shaded while I was in China and y'all, best decision ever. My eyebrows are sparse, okay? They are sparse, 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 sparse? I think that's what it's supposed to be, sparse. They are sparse and you can barely see them. And so when I had them micro shaded, it was so convenient. Cause like I literally just had to do a little touch up cause even under all the makeup, you could see still see my eyebrows and there was like a clear outline that I could follow. And then when I didn't want to wear makeup, my eyebrows were already on point. So like my biggest insecurity, well, one of my insecurities, you know, having no eyebrows, <laughs> didn't have to worry about that when I had no makeup on because they were micro shaded. See, this is the part that gives me anxiety. Like, is it even enough? Like, is it gone in enough? Like, are they at least sisters and not distant cousins? I don't want to sit here and stress myself out about it because if I do, then we'll be here forever and I'll have to end up wiping everything off and starting over because I would have jacked. I think baby girl over there cussing her dad out. For eyeshadow, we're gonna go into this Charmacy palette. It comes with a cute little sleeve. I love that. And this is what it looks like. These are the shades. Absolutely stunning. I'm gonna go check on my baby because she's cussing too hard at Justin. All right, Bella is throwing a full-blown temper tantrum uh, over something she did to herself. I don't understand that. Like, you threw your toy on the floor. Why are you mad at us? You threw your toy on the floor. I don't know, maybe that's a phase. Folks who have uh, older children, did they go through this phase where they just threw everything on the floor and then got mad at you about it? All right, for my transition shade, I'm going to dip into this color right here. This blended out really nicely and very easily too. Nice, 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 love to see it. For my crease, and corner, I'm gonna go into this deeper shade right here as lightly as I can. Like, I'm just gonna do like the simplest little dupe. 
okay it's giving straight up raccoon right now but maybe we could fix it so dipping back into my transition shade i just want to kind of lighten that up a little bit okay it's a little too harsh for your girl so we're just gonna try to diffuse that as much as possible i'm gonna go into this really pretty green shade right here because it should go very beautifully with my hazel eyes so Ooh, that's very pretty. I do want to blend this a little bit. So I'm not adding anything to my brush. I'm just kind of blending this together just so it looks seamless. Okay, we're going for seamless, not patchwork. Okay, keep your patchwork for your quilts. For underneath my eyes, I actually want to try something different. I want to go with like a shimmer, but a dark shimmer. So I'm going to sweep this underneath my eyes and just see what happens. Okay, I think that's pretty. I think that's pretty. Alrighty, and for my inner corner highlight, because you know we got to do an inner corner highlight, we're going to dip into this shade right here. Ooh, that is frosty. Pretty, with my glasses off, very pretty. So that was this palette. I think it worked really well. I think it performed beautifully. Um, no major issues, at least none that I can tell right now, um, outside of things that will be user error. Moving on, moving on, we're gonna go into eyeliner. And today we're gonna use the one size, and this is in Busty Brown. So hopefully this brown my belly keeps moving everything, like bruh. All right, we're gonna use this busty, busty brown. I can't really see what I'm doing right here. I mean, it seems fine. I can't really see. Uh, my belly has gotten so big that like when I try to lean in close enough to really see what's happening, it just moves everything forward. We're just gonna have to trust that my skills were able to put the eyes in line instead of uh, jacking them up. But I mean, it seems like a decent brown eyeliner, nothing too crazy. We're gonna use a, an oldie and a goodie, the Milk Hydro Grip Setting Spray. Y'all know this, it's a, it's a classic. Okay, it seems to melt everything together pretty nicely. I still don't know how I feel about powder foundation. I'm, I'm still on the fence. I don't know if I like her or not. I mean, once you kind of melt everything together, it looks pretty decent. For eyelashes, I'm going to use the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes and little deluxe mini that I got from Ipsy. Okay, we're rooting for you. We have high hopes. This is a luxury brand, so I'm hoping that I will get some actual lashes from this. Uh, we're only gonna do two layers because we're not trying to clean this up later. Uh, mascara is one of the worst products to try to get off of your face because it's almost always gonna still be there. But yeah, we have eyelashes. So that's a good sign, <laughs> right? It's better than some of those other eyelashes like that floss that did nothing for my lashes. This is actually pretty decent. Okay, Tarte, I see you, girl. For the lips, okay, we gotta do the lips. And I'm gonna be using the Dose or Duce or Doce, I don't know. And this is the Lip Definer Twist in the color 492. This is what it looks like. And yes, my lips are a little crusty dusty, okay? I need to get on my game with these lip scrubs. Between baby girl and between feeling tired from being pregnant, your girl's struggling. How do I feel about the lip liner? It's a little hard. It's not as creamy as some of the other lip liners that I've used. It kind of dug into my lips just a little bit, but not too much to the point where I'm like, ugh, I'm gonna throw this away. It's okay. I just wish it was a little bit creamier, but maybe it's old and that's why Birchbox gave it to me. Conspiracy. We're gonna reach for another P. Louise product, okay? I told you, every single try-on is gonna have some P. Louise. And this is the Give Me the Ick trigger warning. I'm not reading all that, it's a whole paragraph. It's a lip palette. Never used the lip palette a day in my life, but these are the shades. I wanna go with a more nudie kind of shade. So I'm thinking I might go with either this one or this one. The only thing I really have is this like little mini like angled brush that I'm pretty sure you're supposed to line your eyes with. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with this lighter shade. I'm gonna go with this lighter shade right here. I don't know y'all, that looks crazy.
She might be just watching something. We'll see. Yo, I don't know how I like this. Maybe if I rub my lips together, it'll come together and do something. I don't know. Let's see. I don't like that. Like even a little bit. I don't like that even a little bit. No. No, no ma'am. So I think I'm just gonna accept that the lip might not go with the eyes. And we're gonna actually use this Gerard Cosmetics in the color James. This is the light em up. Okay, we're gonna light them up. This might work a lot better with that lip liner. The light just throws me every single time. I don't know if that helps me put it on better or not. Yeah, I just, I don't know if the light is actually helping. Now, I definitely, definitely need to work on these Krusty Dusties because they are in full effect. You can see them like crazy right now. So I will be exfoliating my lips every single night and every single morning from now on because maybe this goes together. Maybe it doesn't. I don't know. I'll know when I'm editing the video if this looks like a look because with my glasses off, it kind of does. It kind of looks like, you know, dark and brooding like I'm a witch or something, you know what I mean? Like get my Agatha on. But I do know for a fact that I need to get these lips in check, okay, number one. And number two, I need to whiten my teeth. Lips like this, just they just highlight every single coffee that you've had, okay? All the tea you've been drinking, all the wine you've been drinking. I mean, I haven't been drinking a wine. You get where I'm going with this. Every little stain on your teeth is gonna show with a lip like this. So I need to bust out the baking soda <laughs> and get to work. All that coffee I was drinking before I got pregnant and all the tea I've been drinking lately, ugh. This is the final look. I don't know if I like it yet. I don't know, but the skin seems to be skinning. But I, I, I wonder if this only really works if you don't have like major skin issues, right? Like if I had a lot of like hyperpigmentation or, you know, bumps or anything like that, I don't know if a powder foundation would really cover that. Or maybe it would, I don't know. I'm just, I'm, I'm speculating right now. Looks very mysterious. This is a very mysterious look. It doesn't really go with this cute little dupe. If you like this content, you already know what to do. Like, share, comment, and definitely subscribe so that you can become a Febe. And I will see y'all with the next one. Deuces. Mm -hmm.